Hello, Professor Durkin, um, class. This is my module four presentation. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Aubrey Williams. I currently work as a mathematics instructor for the Creative Learning Center, which is located in Warren, Michigan. The Creative Learning Center is, on, is an alternative high school um, through the Clintondale School District and we have locations throughout Metro Detroit. What we do is offer an um, online curriculum for students that have been uh, put out of uh, other school districts and we allow them to come in and work towards completing their high school requirements. Um, but everything that we do, all classes are offered online and uh, the students are given an opportunity to uh, get their high school diploma by completing their requirements through our school. Um, I also teach music and uh, guitar lessons and vocal lessons uh, with the RIC Summer Music Camp uh, in Detroit, Michigan. Um, my hobbies include singing and tutoring. I love working with students um, and I've been working uh, as a teacher with the Creative Learning Center for the past two years and working with the RIC Summer Music Camp for the past five years. So looking at the analysis, um, to establish the, an issue, I sat with uh, three teachers from the RIC Summer Music Camp, Richard Lee, uh, pianist and composer, James Harris, a bass player and an organist, and uh, Donald Lewis, the second, a drummer. Um, after speaking with these three gentlemen, we um, came to the conclusion that there is a need for students to learn how to read music before they begin learning how to play instruments. Uh, there are several benefits to learning how to read music first. Um, <clears throat> but what we've noticed over the past couple years is that students come into the program just wanting to learn how to play the instrument. Um, however, there is a need for students to be able to, to learn how to read music so that they'll be versatile in their playing. Um, so reading music is definitely very important um, and we felt that um, that this is the first step in actually learning um, music theory and, uh, and learning the theory behind uh, the music that you actually hear. So um, the design, um, I actually initially was doing a mathematics lesson, but I decided to, to change it um, after meeting with my colleagues and, and look at a, uh, an opportunity to create a site that would be um, beneficial for our music students. So uh, we looked at the core standards um, in Michigan uh, and we came up with three um, learning objectives that would be uh, used for this project. Um, the first one is uh, that students will be able to demonstrate uses of reading, proper instrumental technique, and steady beat. Number two, uh, with teacher guidance, stu students will be able to use music vocabulary to analyze, describe, and evaluate music of various styles. Number three, students will use a system to read quarter notes and rests, eighth notes and rests, half notes and rests, whole notes and rests. Um, and through these learning objectives, uh, the students will begin uh, learning the things that are necessary to uh, reading music. Uh, so those are these are like the first steps. Now these core standards, um, 
that we used were not for any specific grade level. They were just for an introductory music class um, in kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, so that's how we determined um, what the objectives would be. So right now I'm just going to uh, do a demo of the website. Um, an intro, uh, introduction to music theory. Um, so here's the website. Uh, we have our home page. We have our standards. Uh, we have three lessons and the resources page citing uh, the sources that were used. Um, you know, here's our introduction to what the site is and uh, what it does. And this button here just um, if you click this it, it talks about why reading music is important so this just opens up a video uh, and explains to students um, why uh, it is important to learn how to read music before um, actually learning how to play instruments uh, lesson one is um, <clears throat> excuse me providing uh, students an opportunity to learn um, what clefts are and how they can be used in music um, so here's the instructional video uh, and then if you click this link here this will take you to the quiz and then lesson two just explains the lines and the spaces that are used in learning how to uh, read music um, and lesson three it is another video that talks about time signature and uh, what it is and uh, it, it just overall provides an understanding to students um, and introducing them to basic music theory. So, uh, looking at the development stages, um, one challenge that I, um, uh, as I explained before was, uh, looking at the math versus the music. Um, I felt that uh, again that the music lesson will be beneficial and this will be something that I'll be able to implement through the music program this summer um, so I found that um, using Weebly was user friendly I was able to uh, use the website and create my own website very easy uh, without any challenges um, and another challenge that I found was uh, Survey Monkey was more user friendly than Google Docs was. Google Docs is very beneficial. However, um, I found that just to make surveys, it was easier to um, use Survey Monkey as opposed to Google Docs. Um, so I was able to embed the uh, actual quizzes and evaluations using um, Survey Monkey. And I, I felt that it was uh, very easy to do um, using uh, those websites. Uh, uh, my plans for implementation are um, to use the website as a review for returning students to the program, students that are looking to uh, come back this year can use the assessments and quizzes and actually review um, what they learned the previous year and uh, just to see what they remember uh, the website will be added to the curriculum for new students they will be able to use the website and learn how to read 
music um, by watching the videos and then uh, the assessments will just be added overall the quizzes uh, will be added overall to the curriculum so um, students will be able to um, just to see where they are and uh, this is how the uh, website will be implemented so I'm actually going to use this website over the summer Uh, during the actual summer camp um, and then the evaluation um, of the website um, one of the evaluators Richard Lee stated that um, the website needs to be reviewed again overall um, there were a couple things that could be done to um, add to the website, make it more uh, lively for for the children that are going to be using it, uh, make it more kid friendly, if you will. Um, so just to add more pictures and uh, add more color, and, and overall just make it better, uh, something that kids will be able to use and understand. Um, also, uh, Donald Lewis said that. Uh, the quizzes um, should be more in depth instead of just uh, having a couple questions we should add actually more questions to the quizzes so that um, the students will be able to um, better comprehend what they learned and just ask uh, more questions other than multiple choice or true or false add more um, written response type questions so that we can see that the students do actually comprehend uh, what they learned um, let's see uh, uh, changes James Harris stated that um, there were a couple uh, areas that needed to be more developed um, during lesson two he said that uh, where the title was um, there were a couple issues that just needed to be completed more so um, there were a couple spelling issues that needed to be looked at so overall um, those changes are going to be implemented and added to the website uh, so that we can use it over the summer uh, for the program and we're actually going to work towards developing a curriculum that we can use for our other lessons uh, for the summer and then in conclusion just again um, working towards uh, designing a more kid friendly website and then um, the design process was fairly easy there were some challenges but uh, I do recommend uh, using Weebly um, for website design um, and then the website provides uh, students with the skills needed to uh, be successful in reading music so this is my presentation uh, thank you all very much for listening